Good morning Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wayne a Minute production. Today is the 16th of September 2013. It is Malaysia Day where Sarawak joined Malaysia. Unfortunately, for Sarawak that is. Well, let's see here we have the river of Kuching. I don't know what it's called, maybe it's River Kuching. God knows, I'm not sure. So uh, there's a building if you're not mistaken around there. God knows what it is. So let's take a nice view of it. Or closer one. Excuse me. Uh, that's it. A bit blurry. And uh, this was uh, last night itself was filled with tons and tons of people. They were crawling out of out of the woodwork. The coaching nights, the coaching lights, all the pussies, God knows. So it's quite a nice place. It's very very romantic. If you do like muddy, uh, shitty looking water, so there's a nice reflection there. You can see that. And uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Time is six thirty. That means it's around. Uh, well, six thirty means. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. 6.30 means it's around 7.30 in actual fact when it comes to like the sun so even though it's 6.30 it's very very bright already uh, somewhat bright it should be brighter than this one because uh, uh, yesterday it was raining and today the cloud is just everywhere so the celebrations for the what Merdek, not Merdeka day Malaysia day has been uh, very wet and damped affair even so there were tons and tons of people carrying umbrellas and or getting wet which is a good thing if you are a female and good thing for a man looking at them so let's see that's a 360 view of the place and we have a pub and food eatery called Katulistiva right around here there's the building with a 360 view of the place of this uh, I don't know what to call it waterfront I guess so and uh, at the back of uh, this uh, Katulisti wall is one of the main roads uh, it's called Abel Street and on Abel Street is Abel Hotel which I have uh, been currently staying for two nights so far and today I'll be checking out so there's a 7-eleven here and I don't know what hotel this is no idea and on Abel Street itself is also the Sarawak Mall which has that toy zone, very good selection of uh, Gundam toys and also, well, there's the famous Sarawak Laksa or as I would like to call it, Sarawak Curry Mi because Laksa is actually Curry Mi so I guess the Teochews or the Hokkien's I'm not sure love to call it Laksa's Curry Mi or like to call their curry bees laksa <laughs> a lot of phlegm today unfortunately been sick while I'm in Kuching I had the maybe a slight fever yesterday and a few days or I mean I've been having like a stomach aches and so took a dump many times or twice in Asia's little nice plane which is very clean and I kept it clean because I'm a civic conscious person so uh, and yesterday I took a dump four times in the hotel room which is quite nice, uh, Abel Hotel is a nice place and I thought I'll be doing a review of Hotel Abel uh, and I've done a review of the room already uh, but I haven't actually gone into the kitchen or into the well the restaurant I don't know what it's called already, Cavara restaurant I'm not going to go into the bowels of the hotel because I know every hotel has a very, 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 very ugly story to tell. As a person who has uh, worked in the entomological side of things, or as you like to call it, a pest controller, a killer of insects, not a killer of incest, but killer of incest, insect, I know that there are a lot of cockroaches in hotels. Definitely, maybe. And those cockroaches are one tough motherfuckers. So let's see. Even though you see a five star hotel or six star hotel, definitely there will be a lot of cockroaches. No matter how much 
poison you spray onto the walls or into the cracks and whatever and wherever you will still have cockroaches especially the german type or in germany they call it the french cockroach and uh, well the only good thing about these uh, german cockroaches is it's very small you can enter those cracks and live in there and they like their food fresh unlike our well bigger cockroaches the very black and very yeah very black the one the german cockroach is a uh, light brown uh, akin to freshly made poo of dogs who have eaten a lot of clay so it looks like clay okay so the german cockroaches they have uh, been in or is still in major major hotels like uh, let's say renaissance hotel of a uh, jalan uh, Ampang, Kiel and Dynasty Hotel as well and all the major hotels they have it no matter what they do they can't kill them which is a good thing for entomologists or pest controllers because hell I mean the what ice age or the destruction of earth base or due to an asteroid maybe has not killed the cockroach but they did kill a lot of dinosaurs okay they made them extinct those catastrophes or mishaps no matter what you want to call them so you can see that it floats there yep it floats here and there and everywhere so i uh, yesterday initiated my first uh, first hotel hunt so i built hotel is my first hotel hunt <clears throat> and also my first girl hunt with a very very uh, very very enticing very pretty very cute 15 or 16 year old Nazia Nazia of Kuching who according to her auntie has a lot of types of uh, genes in her Kadazans, Melayus, Melanaus, Ivans okay and I can see it in her genes very 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 cute and pretty hopefully one day she will have a modeling career or or maybe hopefully she'll become a lawyer definitely and she can bail out the crooks like me <laughs> so 360 review over seven minutes over and now it's almost 6 30 and it's time to go and have breakfast at Abel so let's go and take a look and see so let's pack everything up I guess I've been disturbing the people who are sleeping okay let's put the tripod a bit shorter than this one so I just do so and so let's go to Abel Street and take a look see so enough of the riverfront packed full of people yesterday but it was raining cats and dogs so I went back to my hotel they didn't want to get wet the atmosphere was electric for Malaysia day didn't see the fireworks because I was in my room sleeping like a puppy or a drunkard or a heroin abuser okay all heroin users are uh, an abuse on the body so yesterday I saw the review on that Asam Laksa and I am not that uh, not impressed with the the way the camera was moving it was like I, I know it's swaying it's not jerking around but but it was uh, quite disconcerting so I need to like find a proper way of actually moving the camera and it's not I do like uh, hold it at different angles of the camera so uh, fuck it I mean I can't afford the body rest for stabilizing the camera like what they see what you see in those uh, Hollywood movies where everything is panned out nicely while the guy is moving around uh, those are very expensive rigs I can't actually make those but what I can do is I don't know whether to use two hands not to do this because it would be kind of weird but it looks like it's swaying all the time so this is Abel Street you can see the big M the golden arches of McDonald's and there's the Grand Margarita and this is the River Tower Bank, River Bank Tower and you can see there that's the Katulistiwa pub and fun food eatery and there's a riverside shopping complex uh, is that a shopping complex? Oh, god knows it looks like a big building and also the excellent Sarawak Plaza excellent because it has the toy zone 
Yep. And I'm surprised to see Bata here. I thought they were extinct already. Bata, of course, is uh, well, uh, very, very used to be huge, huge sneaker or footwear company in Malaysia. Excuse me. So I am very hungry, very hungry indeed. And when it comes to me being hungry, I am fucking grumpy. Hungry and grumpy. So is this very, very smooth? Uh, two hands? Not really. So I guess I have to walk a bit slowly. Ah, fuck it. It's not so good. So it's around 6.30 and it's bright as day already, almost, almost. So the time difference is in Sarawak is similar to, I mean the time is actually same as in the peninsula but they are actually supposed to be, was it faster or earlier or later or whatever. So the police, definitely police. And we can see the Sarawak Plaza there, Toy Zone there. And there is also a, what do you call, one of the toys. Hmm. And also there is this uh, shop, Tio Ho Hing Enterprise, that, um, that sells bird's nests. And yesterday I saw uh, what, a program uh, uh, on uh, the channel 707. Uh, by that uh, guy from Singapore called Makan Sutra or something, some Chinese bloke. Uh, he was like talking about Sekinchan, and Sekinchan is a place of paddy fields and cheap seafood. Apparently, I haven't tried it. I've been to Sekinchan, but I haven't tried the food at all because uh, one person going there is, well, kind of weird and uh, maybe it's expensive as well. So I was. Uh, to, uh, seeing the program by this uh, Makan Sutra and it says that uh, Sekinchan is now famous for being uh, what they call uh, bird's nest uh, paradise so bird's nest is sold here and uh, my personal thoughts about uh, bird's, uh, bird's nest is well uh, kind of ludicrous really I mean not my opinion about it but uh, people's uh, assumption of the benefits of uh, bird's or birds saliva it might be good but uh, it might just be some kind of a uh, just a saliva just to uh, put the structure together because uh, the saliva is something like a gummy little thing uh, whether it's good for health or not whether it is supposed to benefit the swiftling or the birds uh, progeny or not that's something to be seen they say that it is good for the skin complexion and whatnot and as you know cosmetic is a multi-trillion dollar US dollar investment and money making machine so there is like less supply more demand therefore the money for it or the price for it is very very fucking high so I think it's just bollocks when it comes to all this uh, thing. Also, oh, this is the KFC in front of uh, that Sarawak Plaza, which I think is quite... There are not many KFCs that are like open air or are supposed to fry their chickens outside. Uh, therefore, it's a very good strategy in, uh, well, in enticing the people to come and eat it because the flavor or the smell of the KFC is quite tempting and it's wafting everywhere. So you will be very tempted to do eat KFC when you are on Abel Street. So when, on, a, on a similar note, uh, the food, I mean sorry, the, when it comes to all those that uh, nest, birds nest and whatever their health properties, properties are, I think it's kind of stupid. People will pay top notch prices for it. Especially the Asians, the Hong Kongs, the Chinese and whatnot, they have too much money. Yes, China has a lot of money. Hong Kong next have too much money. Well, they can do whatever they want. But uh, please don't infect it with uh, the gullible and stupid people of the other, other countries. So I think uh, bird's nest is to me is the same thing as gold. Gold you can't eat, but uh, bird's nest you can eat. But, but the only uh, thing that is uh, very similar is gold. 
is uh, something I mean the value is high because of the humans uh, well the, this the market type of thing is like demand versus supply and we think gold is very valuable as a as a as an alternative to cash and whatever and you know that cash or the economic system is just uh, something that is uh, realized or uh, taught up by humans it's not really tangible it's just a way of bartering okay so it's kind of like stupid and can be quite abusive so i do not trust uh, this bird's nest it's a waste of bollocks a waste of time waste of energy and a waste of um well tv time so let's go on with the abel review later it's raining and uh, it's bright at 6.30 a.m. a Monday in Kuching. So see you pussies, see you Kuching nights, see you Kuching lights.